Good evening, greetings. It's Vanessa here, nutrition and fitness coach. Welcome to the Monday Motivation. I'm recording live. Hopefully it's gone live. Uh, I was told I've got a low connection. So if it's not live, you'll get the recording afterwards. But I'm here to help busy women like you to get your nutrition, your fitness and your mindset into a positive flow of energy and remain there. So let's do this. All right, so this evening I'm going to be talking about accountability. Do you know the power of an accountability circle? Okay, so accountability is something that you might be familiar with. You also may be doing accountability in your own way. So you may be setting goals. You may have found somebody to work with, which is fantastic. So I'm just actually going to give you the example of the water challenge that I invited you into last week. We've actually started this week. It's fantastic. We've started today. I'm not sure how many people are participating because I've had an extremely busy day today. But I know that it's um, kicked off and we've got new, lots of new faces in the group. Now, the people that have joined the group this week have been invited in there by existing members. Uh, you may recall it's a free group, uh, so it's very, you know, free to participate in. There's no cost to join or anything like that. But the people who've stayed in the group, have some of them have been in there for the last month or so. And now they've invited new people into the group to encourage their friends and family to drink more water, but also to help them to reach their own water goals. You see, the power of accountability is that if you say you're going to do something, if you say it to yourself in private, it's very easy to let yourself off the hook. Now, you will recall that last week I did my first Facebook Live and I told you I'm going to do it every Monday. So, in essence, if you're an optimal woman watching this broadcast, whether it's live or on the replay, then you are my accountability buddy because I really want to make a difference to people's lives. And I know that coming on here every Monday, it might be at a different time, but as long as I show up, then I'm going to have an impact. And that is my goal in life. I'm on a mission to help over 100 women. Is this you? Are you one of them? Okay. So I came on the Facebook last week and I said, right, I'm going to do this every Monday. I'm going to do it as part of my Pramfit walk. Well, I went on the Pramfit walk today. But unfortunately, the weather wasn't great. Uh, the lighting in the park was pretty dull because it was quite cloudy. And uh, even though there was three of us that went out on the walk, one of the ladies had to go home for the school run. And the other lady that stayed with me, we were having a nice chat and we were feeding our babies. So it wasn't really appropriate to do the Facebook Live then. But obviously, I've come home. And I'm aware that I said that I'm going to do this. So doing a Facebook Live is part of my personal goals. What are your goals? If we think about things in terms of your health, as I've just said, the water challenge has started already. Do you need to drink more water? What are your hydration levels like? Do you actually know? Have you been tracking how much water you've been drinking? So the people that have joined the water challenge, rather than just joining the water challenge on their own, which would be easy for them to do, they've invited their friends and their family or may maybe work colleagues to actually join the fun water challenge with them. Now, that could be seen as a public display of accountability because for whatever reason, they've joined the water challenge and they've decided that they're going to set a goal 
on a certain amount of water, you know, their daily target. It might be a litre, it might be two litres that they'll be drinking every day. So it's easy to do things on your own, of course, but actually when you're surrounded by like-minded people and in a group such as we've established, it's fun, people are posting, then actually those members are holding themselves accountable because what they're doing is they're actually saying, you know, I said that I'm going to do this and this is this is what I've done. So they're getting that celebration as well. So are the areas of your life where you're thinking, do you know what, I do want to make a change? It might be to have more exercise. It might be to um, have more protein in your diet. It could be to actually take up a new exercise routine, do some exercise that you've never done before. Now, my advice to you is rather than doing those things on your own, which is great, if you establish an accountability circle around you, you're more likely to succeed. And there has, there has actually been studies, university studies have shown that if you're trying to establish a new habit, if you go in with a close friend, family member, somebody that you can trust, that actually they're doing you a favour, but you're doing them a favour as well, you are more likely to continue and succeed. So let's think about the area of going to the gym, for example. Two of the ladies that I was with this morning, they have already established themselves as accountability buddies to each other when it comes to going to the gym. So they've made a commitment to themselves that they're going to go to the gym. But they're actually saying to each other, right, we're going to go together. What I've encouraged them to do today is to think about other people that they can invite into what I describe as an accountability circle. So that actually it's not as easy to get out of, oh, I can't be bothered to go tonight. No, I can't be bothered either. Because then they're letting themselves off the hook. If they've got two, three, four, five people on the same track, they're all you know, trying to achieve the, uh, the same or similar goals, then actually it's much more difficult to then fall into the habit of making excuses. Oh, I can't make it tonight. This is happening. That's happening. Or even when life does get in the way, because as we know, we're busy mums, we're busy women, we're going to work. You'll be busy with your family. You'll be busy with your other parts of life. That's fine. But actually, it's easy to pick up where you've left off and say to yourself, right, OK, I couldn't make it last week, but I'm definitely going to be going this week. So that's my top tip for today. Monday motivation. If you're thinking about starting a new habit, whether it be doing more exercise, making positive changes to your diet, don't go in on your own. Find accountability buddies. So this could be a success buddy. That means one person, but you are going to have actually more of an impact and more chances of success if you invite two or three people to join the activity with you. Make sure it's a fun activity. You can have different ways of communicating with each other. So you've got Facebook Messenger. You could set up a group. You've got WhatsApp. You could set up a group. But actually going alone, it's an easy option because unfortunately, that little voice in our head can let us off the hook. So if you're trying out a new habit or even if you want to maybe take something to the next level, invite some friends and family to join in the activity with you to increase your chances of success. I hope you've enjoyed this week's motivation. Um. Obviously, next week I'll be here again on Facebook Live. I can't give you a time because today has been so busy that I don't really want to set a, a definite time at the moment. I'm getting into the flow of doing these Facebook Lives and then uh, we'll figure out together what's working for both of us. 
Now, before I leave you, obviously, we've had the water challenge that started this week, which is fantastic. If you do want to join the water challenge, there's still time. It's really fun. You're going to get a free PDF from me about how you can track your water, the benefits of water and so forth. And all it is, is you'll come into a free group and you'll literally be held accountable to the amount of water that you, you're drinking throughout the day. So we like to see people posting water and we give you some really fun ideas on how you can make water more interesting, particularly if you're, you're quite new to drinking water. So I'm going to post the link to the free group at the bottom of this video. If you do want to join, there's some simple questions there. Um, and just say that you've been invited into the group uh, by myself, Vanessa. I am an administrator, so I will see those requests coming in. Like I said, we're only on day one. So if you want in a bit of support um, with looking at some healthy habits, starting with water, then we'd love to have you in the group. Anyway, that's all from me. Thanks for watching. And I will see you here next week for next week's motivation. I hope you have a fantastic week ahead and uh, see you next time. Bye.